What up, bitches? It's the misanthropic one, aka Face the Music. Back up in this bitch for another rant slash review. Today, we're gonna be talking about this album right here, DMX's latest release, simply called Mixtape. That really pisses me off. You know, I could have thought of a better name than Mixtape. How about, you know, the dog's bark or something, you know, or the dark man returns or whatever, you know, anything would have been better than just mixtape, you know, it's so plain. <sighs> but uh, regardless of the name, the product is official, you know. Um, I really was disappointed with DMX's, what was it, his last album? Or last couple of albums, I think it's Year the Dog and like Grand Champ. Oh God, I couldn't stand those albums. They just were so like lackadaisical, you know. And it's so great to hear DMX's ill delivery. Like it's like almost a resurgence because. Y'all know, DMX isn't a fucking super lyricist, you know what I mean? He's not like a complex lyricist. It's just because of his ill flow and delivery. That's what makes him so fucking unique. And his voice, like, he stands out from a bunch of other MCs, you know? And his first two albums, y'all already know. I'm not even going to go there. Those are, those are fucking classic. If not, they're damn near classic material. I'm not even going to go back into 97 and 98 y'all already know if not go pick those albums up uh, <clears throat> albums up excuse me it's dark and hell is hot his first solo album and flesh of my flesh blood of my blood pick those two up if you don't already have them and then he came out with his third release and then there was x which was okay you know in my opinion it was just you know an album where everybody started jumping on his dick, you know, we had Party Up and What's My Name and shit like that. <sighs> Needless to say, I'm not gonna go through his whole discography, you go look it up. But Grand Champ and Year the Dog, again, or whatever it's called, I, I, I really couldn't stand those records, man. I, I was like, what the fuck happened to DMX? And, you know, y'all know about his exploits you know outside the rap game you know the, the fucking crack addictions and multiple arrests and all that that's really been fucking him up but I'm glad to see that at least he's going back to putting out quality fucking material what can I say about this album uh there's a lot of guest appearances on here you know, you got J.R. Ryder and Hell Rel from Dipset. You got Rampage. Mob Deep is on here. Loom, G Dep, AZ, and Keith Murray. You know, there's 12 tracks on here. Like I said, it this shit goes hard. Um What don't I like about it? What can I complain about? Uh, the song with Keith Murray, number 11, Lil Room. Like, DMX goes hard on that track. He just rips shit apart on that track. And Keith Murray, it's like, ever since, I don't know, let me see, maybe after his second album, like, he hasn't been, you know, the same old Keith Murray, except when he put out that shit with, the, with uh, Cannabis, the Under Gods release, that shit was hot. But... I don't know what the fuck, like, it's like Keith Murray is so like, uh, you know what I mean? Like his first fucking album, the most beautifulest thing in this world, I mean, come on, man, you, you, anyone who's a hip hop head cannot deny that album, that album is fucking sick, but, you know, and then Enigma also, you know, is, is cool, but, you know, after that, it's like, I don't know, I don't know what happened to Keith Murray, man, I just... He used to be one of my favorites too, but like his verse on there was wasn't that great, wasn't that impressive. 
Uh, another thing that was missing from this was the fact that DMX needs that old vintage Swiss Beats production. He needs that. Not saying that the beats sucked on here, but it's almost like Wu without RZA. You know, it just, ugh. You know, or RZA being lazy, almost. It just does not work, okay? DMX needs Swiss Beats. Needs the old Swiss Beats, not the new Bells and Whistles Swiss Beats either. Not not that shit. Like the the old school, almost borderline horrorcore Swiss Beats. But yo, pick this up. My rating on this, I'm going to give this an 8 to 8.5. It's very solid. I like it. Only things that pissed me off were the name and that Keith Murray thing and the fact that Swiss Beats wasn't on here delivering that old shit. But yo, pick it up. DMX fans will not be disappointed. That's all I gotta say. Leave your love, leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe, alright, bitches? One motherfucking love.